are we leaving? We. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. It's a road trip with friends. I can't remember the last time I've had that much fun. What are you guys doing? We're great. You're you're our grand finale. <laughs> oh, look at that! You're my grand finale. Yay! <laughs> Um, and with that, you guys have the premiere next week, right? And you guys are doing something different with this one, right? So talk about that a little bit. I'll, I'll take Lorenzo. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take this one home. There you uh, go. <laughs> no, this is this is the first ever live virtual premiere. Uh, it's never been done before. Usually, as you know, premieres are for a select group of people, and you meet in this very secluded thing, and you go experience that with the cast there. But we wanted to bring it to you at your home, a live virtual premiere, which also benefits COVID relief, where um, ticket sale proceeds are going to the COVID-19, plus one COVID-19 re relief fund. Um, but also you get to see a Q&A with the cast afterwards, with David Henry and Selena Gomez, with a uh, live performance by Lovely the Band. So we wanted to create this uh, awesome live experience at your home that you don't get at the movie theaters but you can experience it at home and it's interesting now obviously we're in a situation where like a lot of music festivals have been ca uh, canceled you can't go to the movies to go see a film you they're not premiering films also in the way that they used to as well and i think it is really cool that it's it's an event then and, and the fact that it was by everyone's bootstraps that they had to figure out how to do this uh i think it's amazing experience that you know no matter where you are if you're in italy or if you're in florida you can watch the film you can see this q a you get to see the performance by lovely the band and and it's a weird way that we all can kind of be connected through this technology that we now are, are is our only way of being connected in this moment yeah, I love that. Lorenzo, is that something that you and your brother kind of figured it out or what, or did that platform uh, come to you or what happened? I think, I guess chaos breeds opportunity, right? I mean, at the top of the year, we had a thousand screen release to go uh, this summer to release it in the theaters. And then as we saw people just dropping off on the theaters, people aren't going to the theaters. Um, we're like, you know what, let's not, this isn't, we're not going to give up. We're going to actually do something new and innovative. And that's when we partnered with Bold Entertainment to create this live experience um, at, at home. So it was, it was really us wanting to get this message, this feel good movie out there um, and for everyone to watch it with us in the cast. Yeah. Okay, I really wanna know about the brother dynamic. Um, there's a brother storyline in the movie, but also you have your brothers there, you know, the rest of the cast are watching you and your brothers <laughs> interact. So uh, talk about that. Uh, it, it was it was awesome. It, it really was, I think, a childhood dream come true for the both of us. Um, of course, we teased each other and got on each other's skins uh, every now and then. But at the end of the day, it was uh, what we could do best for each other to make David the best director to get, especially me as the lead actor, but you know, we're on a, we're on a certain budget and David needed to hit certain time frames because the producer would come and say, we're done because uh, we don't have any more money to do this scene. Um, so David really needed to put me on, 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 on red alert to be like, you need to nail this right away. Otherwise we're moving on. So it was, it was an awesome family dynamic as well. How was that watching it? Vanessa, how was it? Oh, it was hilarious. Um, but I was coming off of having just produced Saving Zoe with my sister and with my mom. Cool. So it was really cool to sign on to a project where that same thing was happening, where siblings and, and parents are working together to actually produce their own content. So I felt incredibly privileged to like feel like I'm a part of a group. Like, you know, the 80s, they had the Brat Pack, you know, <laughs> then the Will Ferrell days was the Frat Pack. It was <laughs> Like we're the sibling pack of trying to get things made and, and then create things together. And so that was really, really awesome. It was also really awesome to just be an actor because having come off of acting and producing in a film that also had an incredibly small budget, substantially smaller than this film, by the way. <laughs> Every time Lorenzo and David were like, oh, there's just no money. I'd be like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, there's no money here. You're right. <laughs> uh, it was really nice to just actually get to to just act and get to watch them and, and enjoy the fact that I could sleep when we were done, <laughs> but they couldn't. <laughs> Did oh, you man. feel like you learned a lot from like that experience? I'm sure you learned a ton of just like filmmaking and also learned a lot about your family and stuff. Oh, you? absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it was it was a it was a great learning experience. Um, 
I, I mean, I think Vanessa and I both can agree to this. It's much more fulfilling, I think, uh, to, you know, pre-production, filming, post-production, and then it's actually done, um, you know, versus an actor, you, you come on set a couple of weeks beforehand and you don't realize the, how much hard work went on before. And you're just like, all right, where's craft service, you know, get, but you know, you, you don't realize the amount of work that goes into something. Um, it's kind of a mini miracle to, to get something done in 30 days. Also like, again, they're all like 30 days savings. Zoe was 15 days, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys had more money. It's fine. Um, but no, shot mobile. <laughs> um, no, but it's so true that that idea of like, it's a miracle. It gets done. Something goes wrong every second of every day. And like, yeah. You know that conceptually as a performer, but when you're actually in it and it's your baby, it's the product you've created, it is just like a travesty. Every day you wake up, you're like, oh, wait, this is happening now? What's going on? Ah, like there, there's no other way to describe it except ah, that is what I feel producing. <laughs> ah. It's the ah, and then you gotta like figure out the solution somehow. You're like, hundred percent. Never fit, had to do this before. Like, how do I do it? Um, but I thought that there were some really cute themes in this movie. Uh, one of the themes I liked was um, when his teacher was telling him, like, "Oh, you gotta think more to life um, about happiness. Like, happiness is bigger than just what's happening right now." Um, could either you kind of expand upon that thought? oh, I mean, I think no true statement exists. It's really easy to get caught up in the now and what's happening right now. And what's interesting is a lot of the times we don't enjoy the present for what it is. We're just like, how do I get my immediate solution to the problem I'm in in the present? And we don't think about the long-term and the long haul and how certain small moments that are actually simple joys can be fleeting. And I think that's a really important message from this movie is enjoy the now, but also realize it's only for now. And that's a good thing. It can feel like a bad thing, but also like if you're continuing on and, and life is right in front of you, like continue forward in life and continue forward in life with, with people who are your family and who are your friends and who you feel the most supported by. Yeah. You want to add to that? Absolutely. And um it's kind of cool because one of the sponsors we partnered with is a is a company named Family. It's an acronym that they um, they own. No, I'm serious. It's, what? it's yeah. You're gonna get some swag shortly here from our merch. Um, it stands for Forget About Me, I Love You. The name Family, and I think that that has a lot to do with the the themes of the film and especially that scene with the teacher because that's what love is is forget about about yourself and trying to help someone else love someone else and josh in the beginning of the movie is um so in his head so has one way of life that love is this it's what social media and the movies tell us but i think what the teacher is hinting at is it's greater than yourself it's uh it's outside of yourself um so it, i think that was a cool moment and a great theme in the movie is to uh you know forget about yourself and do something better for someone else um the brother relationship, Molly doing stuff for Josh and then Josh having to realize it's not all about him. Other people need to, uh, you need to love other people more than yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I liked those scenes and I thought that, uh, you know, one thing I appreciated it, it's really for like the whole family could watch the movie. There's like kind of no negativity in it or whatever. So I really enjoyed that. It, it has a lot of heart. It's like pure joy. I think we all hope it's going to put a smile on everyone's face. But what's great about it too is you're right. You can watch it with family, but at no point does it ever feel infantile. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I, I, me being the age I am and watching it, it was like, I, I, you're, you're sitting there and you're like, yes, no, you're right. That is, I should be living my life that way. You're <laughs> correct. <laughs> no, that was key. That's why it took a long time to, to write this and have so many drafts because we wanted we wanted something the, the whole family could watch and not be awkward with your teenagers. Um, so we, we wanted everyone to feel something in this movie where the parents can have throwback nostalgic feels from the eighties and the kids can also understand the, the dialogue and things that are going on where everyone can relate to the message and the themes of the movie.